Dr. Nancy Kuntz here today with my colleague, uh, Melissa Gibbons, a genetic counselor from Colorado Children's Hospital. Um, Melissa, it would be helpful to have you um, discuss uh, your perspective, uh, the role of genetic counseling and genetic testing in diagnosis of Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Um, there has been significant improvements in our ability to do genetic testing for the dystrophinopathies. Many of us remember a time where these boys diagnosed with CK and invasive procedures such as a muscle biopsy or nerve conduction studies. Um, but we are fortunate to live in a time where genetic testing has vastly approved um, over the last 10 years, especially to be able to have a higher uptake genetic testing. One is that multiple labs like testing for the dystrophin gene. Um, we have better access to genetic testing because the cost has come down substantially. And we are fortunate enough to have several what we refer to as sponsored test programs, which allow us to coordinate genetic testing for individuals that maybe would not have been able to afford to have genetic tests. When we think about genetic testing, we've also been able to advance. Previously, we had to do a two-step process for large patients because that took care of a majority of the genetic changes that we were identifying. But if that test came back negative, we would then have to send a second test that essentially did a spell check or sequencing of the dystrophin gene. That could often take a diagnosis, taking four to eight weeks on the good side to be able to get a genetic confirmation. We're now able to get that diagnosis typically within two to four week testing that can combine both of these methodologies, which again is hitting that point of an earlier diagnosis for these families. A genetic diagnosis is more important now than it has been ever in the past because many of our therapies are based on the individual's genetic diagnosis. With exon skipping and gene transfer therapy, it is very important for us to know the underlying genetic cause of the boy's um, dystrophinopathy. This has led to additional challenges. However, genetic testing is advancing and we're seeing it used more in the prenatal um, areas within the genetic counseling field. And a lot of individuals are being diagnosed as carriers on this prenatal testing. But in the absence of family history, the ability to counsel these families appropriately depends on gaining additional information, which sometimes requires even testing additional family members like the grandparents so that we can truly provide an accurate diagnosis to these families before we've even had a chance to meet their little boy. Genetic testing will continue to advance over time and will continue to be important as we continue to move all of these treatments forward. Yeah, Melissa, thank you for that summary. It's a wonderful, uh, uh, important summary of the uh, points um, that genetic counseling and testing can bring to the diagnosis of Duchenne muscular dystrophy. I think that one of the most valuable things we can do in the clinic is once the diagnosis is made is make certain that the families have a copy of the genetic diagnosis so that they can always have it with them um, and um, bring it to any new treatment setting because so much of the specific disease targeted therapies are dependent on what the exact mutation is. And that's something that needs to be very precise. And I'm personally so grateful for some of the foundations and family support groups like Parent Project to Cure Duchenne to Cure Duchenne, the PPMD, that has been so gracious at um, offering to have free genetic testing so that we don't have to waste a lot of precious time getting authorization for a genetic test from uh, insurers who <clears throat> aren't as aware of the importance of the early diagnosis. I couldn't agree with you more speaking on to that piece of paper that has those genetic test results. Um, I know we've personally had some delays in being able to get people on treatment because they did not obtain a copy of that. So that is a huge piece.